guys, long time no see. Welcome back to HGTV Handmade and welcome to the last week of All Requests August. I've had so much fun watching the other handmade ladies create back to school projects and I'm gonna link a playlist down below so that you can watch all the videos we've done throughout August. I graduated a few years ago, but I still wanna share some of the dorm room decor DIY projects that I would be doing if I were headed back to college this year. Most college dorm rooms come with a twin size bed that has a pretty boring bed frame. So today I wanna to show you how to jazz it up a little by building your own headboard. Now you may be thinking that building a headboard from scratch sounds pretty complicated, but don't worry. I know your classes will be difficult enough already, so I've decided to keep this project very simple. For this project, you will need fabric, cardboard, batting, a staple gun, a ruler, a precision knife, a marker, and a pair of scissors. Start by measuring your bed frame. Mine is 65 inches wide. You'll also need the height. I'm measuring down to this corner right here because that's where the new headboard will rest. But if you don't have an existing headboard to cover, you'll want to measure all the way down to the floor. Now it's time to cut your cardboard. I still have a bunch of moving boxes laying around, so I'm going to recycle one of them for this project. You'll want to find a piece of cardboard large enough to cover the area that you measured earlier. I'm adding a few inches to the height because I want my headboard to be a bit taller than the existing one so that I can see even more of the fabric's pattern above my pillows. Mark off your rectangle with a marker. After you've marked off your rectangle, it's time to cut the cardboard down to size. It wasn't too difficult to cut along the existing folds in the cardboard, but when you're cutting elsewhere, here's a tip that makes it easier. Use a precision knife to score the lines before you cut them. Now I've got the base of my new headboard. Next, it's time to lay down the batting. I'm using it to pad the headboard so that it's comfy to lay against. You could also use a layer of foam for this step, but it might be harder to cut through, so I recommend a roll of batting. Just cut it so that it's a few inches longer than the cardboard on all four sides. I'm using two layers because I want my headboard to be super comfy. The final layer that we have to work on is the fabric, and as you can see here, my fabric is not wide enough to cover the headboard because the roll that it came on wasn't 65 inches wide. This won't be a problem if you're not using a pattern like chevron or stripes because you can just rotate the fabric in a different direction. But since I don't want my chevron to be sideways, I had to cut it in half and lay the pieces side by side. Then I folded the edge of one piece and clipped this into place. Next, I matched up the chevron pattern so that the two pieces looked continuous. Finally, I used fabric glue to secure the two pieces together. This process did take some extra time, but if you choose a pattern that doesn't have to be horizontal, you won't have to do this. I had my heart set on a chevron pattern, so I didn't mind the extra effort. Now trim the fabric so that it's a few inches longer than the cardboard on all four sides. It's finally time to wrap everything up. Lay down the cardboard first, then the batting, then the fabric. We'll clip it all into place so that it doesn't move when we flip it over. I don't want the chevron to be diagonal, so I'm making sure to line up all of the points before I fold the fabric into place. Fold each side over and clip as you go. Flip the whole thing over and get out your staple gun. Staple all the way around the headboard. You'll need to use some muscles so that the staples go through all three layers. When you get to the corners, pull the fabric toward the center of the rectangle and staple it into place. Staple 
staple all four sides and then you're done. Now it's time to attach it to the bed. I'd recommend using adhesive strips that are removable. That way you can take the headboard off without causing any damage that you'll have to pay for when you move out at the end of the school year. These adhesive strips will help you attach the headboard either to an existing bed frame or to the wall if necessary. Just peel off the paper to reveal the sticky surface and then attach your headboard. And that's all there is to it. Now you have a stylish and comfy headboard that was easy and inexpensive to create. I hope you enjoyed this project and don't worry, I've got more dorm decor projects coming your way, including a personalized pillow that would look great against your brand new headboard. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you with a new video very soon. Bye guys.